everything I've heard today and everything I experience in and around the fellowship is are people who are thinking intergenerationally. You've got some of the brightest minds in the world coming here to New Zealand with their wonderful ideas um, and then helping New Zealand businesses. EHF is a story that's grounded in partnership. It's a network of co-creation within the idea of a nation for those who turn insights and ideas from the realm of what's possible into our shared reality. A legacy internationally for Sir Edmund's remarkable leadership work. New Zealand for us has an enormous richness. The idea that we can still be learning, still be given wonderful new opportunities such as the Edmund Hillary Fellowship is one of the great glories of New Zealand. I think we can do something here in New Zealand, incubate something which is quite small to start with, which can scale quite quickly. We've got storytellers who help inspire new possibilities, activists who speak for those who don't have a voice. We've got entrepreneurs who turn imagination into possibilities. And this is something that I feel about this place, this land, that people are so incredibly generous and the generosity has kind of touched me too. You know, the thing that I'm doing every day as an investor is actually my mission as part of VHF. I'm looking for people who are authentic founders of a deep psychological desire to change the world. And one of the key questions that I have is how do we maximise all of this amazing talent in the room to amplify your impact here in Aotearoa to positively impact our people? We felt a real uh, uprising in our movement in our community to move from resisting into reimagining and rebuilding and saying well, what is the future we do want? What would it look like and how do we build that together? And Aotearoa must lead. Whether it's agriculture, whether it's energy, whether it's tech, whether it's governance and law, this country can lead the way. We can't build any of those things we said we want to build without building the infrastructure first inside of ourselves. Focused on how we transform our relationships with the body so that we can transform the world. I dream of an information economy based in a restorative ecology where we spread our philosophy through our technology to the pioneers who laid the building blocks of the blockchain long before it was known by such a name, open sourcing the treasure maps to reveal where true value lies. This new trust protocol has got the potential to change the way our systems work. I believe the blockchain technologies have the theoretical and technological potential to make those technologies more transparent and more efficient. My goal in coming here to New Zealand is to make this a global leader through sensible blockchain regulation. This could be the Noah's Ark of the world, and it's really about putting nature at the centre of our economy. Learn from the natural world. In every being, in every system, in space, in physics, in mathematics, in biology, in water, there is deep wisdom which we can all learn from. Many indigenous cultures don't even have a word in their traditional languages for conservation because they just don't need one. It's so innate. Some of the innovation that New Zealand's already got on top of in terms of like giving legal personhood to different natural bodies is transformational. And with the country behind it and the iwi behind it, it is something that could quickly ripple out through international aid and development. Where's the food that we eat coming from? And where are the clothes that we make made? It's about the founders of these companies. At the end of the day, we view every company that we invest in as that team's company, not our company. Why couldn't we? Why couldn't we do something that would enable New Zealand to put their hand up and, and do something quite bold? It can be super difficult to keep going, not to give up, and the thing you need the most is a community. I hope that New Zealand actually takes that bold step so that in like a hundred years from now we look back at 2017 or, or so and we thank the people who actually started to make this happen that is actually going to be Aitaroa. Kia ora.